Spring is in full bloom, so let's stop and smell the flowers with some positive stories where kindness, as always, wins. First up is a husband and wife team that's gone viral for breathing new life into an old Charleston, South Carolina laundromat. The place needs a lot of work, but we think we can make it into a space where people actually want to hang out and do their laundry. For several months, Aaron and Jonathan Carpenter have taken their TikTok followers on their renovation journey. A lot of the machines are broken and the whole building is filled with junk from over the years. He believed that we could make it a better place, so I did too. They were able to revitalize the building into a popular hangout spot. They've also partnered with the Low Country Blessing Box Project to organize free laundry days for those in need. Getting laundry done with a side of good conversation sounds like a win for me. I love this. Up next are the efforts of one man in Olathe, Kansas, to help his community process grief in a unique way. The phone is not connected to anything. People can just go in and dial the number of whoever has passed and have a one-way conversation with them. Jeff Raffliff was inspired by the loss of a loved one to set up this phone booth in partnership with the Johnson County Mental Health Center. The phone booth can help us become more resilient as we express ourselves, as we share that frustration or share that sadness. The idea is that the words spoken into the phone will be delivered by the wind. It kind of gives a sense of purpose. The city of Olathe also plans to add a QR code to the booth to direct users to 988, the National Mental Health Crisis Line. What a meaningful concept. And we wrap it up with a new nonprofit in Richmond, Virginia, on a mission to uplift and empower young African American women. I've built up confidence, I've built up more self love for myself, and I'm just really happy that I got a chance to be here. This group just completed a six month leadership experience by Leading Our Ladies. It consists of sessions that cover topics like the business of beauty, hygiene and health, and financial literacy. We also wanted to really build upon relationships and making sure that mental health was really a focus. It took place at the Richmond Boys and Girls Club, and the hope is to continue their mission with the help of donations and volunteers. To learn more, visit leadingourladiesrva.com. Those are three stories that prove kindness wins. Lots more coming up on the list. Stay with